everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the, uh, well, Duelist slash Royals. It's going to be both of them, I think. Uh, I'll probably add this mission maybe to both playlists. I don't know yet. Maybe it's just going to be in the Duelist. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to take the joint defend base mission um, today. Let's go to the command center. Always good to see you. It is Austin. a one skull, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it is against Clan Diamond Sharks. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect. We're going to go full salvage because I want to get some good shit out of this one. And we are going to go ahead and do uh, taking China Doll and the Spectre. And then I think we're going to take the Wavern um, and the Adder. And then the Hunter and the Zoria for the mechs. So Dragon can come down. Uh, we need Thunder down in the Hunter. Correct? Am I correct in putting Thunder in the Hunter? No, you've been piloting the Zoria. You're here. Uh, Ren is in the Hunter. Here we go. And then we need a uh, tugboat. Perfect. So let's go. Command interface. All right, inside. here we go. Oh, this map. Okay, this should be interesting. Looks like we got enemies right up at the front. So our engineers are over there. And it looks like we got in, in, our enemies are like right here. Kind of like they were last time. They were over here last time, but uh, do we want to start here? That's a little far away, I think. Um, on this road? Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Uh, this gives us the opportunity to move into the trees, so let's go here. Yeah, shit. Of course, most of our backs are to the enemy. Well, a couple of our backs are to the enemy. All right, so we got... I'm here. Um, let's confirm you. What do we got here? Locust C, Kit Fox, Miss Lynx. Okay, some good parts here. Piranha. An Oscout. So not bad. Let's get up here. Lousy chance to hit, but we're going to move up. We're going to take a pot shot. Enough so that it doesn't overheat us. But I want to be in the trees here. Just in case they shoot back. We can fire everything. Sure. Nice light show, but that's about it. Of course, I missed. Of course you did. I don't know what we're going to do with this hatchetman, though. I don't know if we're going to get in range to be do, do much melee, but we'll have to see how it goes. At least the, um, the Spectre's got a bit better chance because it's got the, that PPC for range. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about the uh, hatchetman. Because we're going to be running all over the map. I should probably just try and fire at range on these first guys until we figure out where the next sets of enemies come and then choose one side of the other and then just get in and just try to murder them as much as I can. Okay, maybe we can get between APCs and the uh, mechs here. I think that's what we do, yes, if we can. I'm so glad I upped the engine on this thing. Alright, how hot are you? I think you've got AMS though. Yeah, you sure as hell do. So let's just leave those off. Roger that. Oof, nothing. My life is now devoid of meaning. Yours and mine both. Awesome. I love the camera effects in this game. I gotta say, that's why I leave them on. Like a lot of, I watched a lot of people play, and they just like. You know, quickly spacebar through the movements and this and that, but no need to tell me it's so I, for me, it's just so enjoyable actually watching the vehicles doing like doing stuff. Okay, that's not bad. You're going somewhere else. I'm not sure where. Twenty-five. Let's go after this guy. I have lots of LRM ammo for this thing, so I don't mind shooting it against something that's got AMS. It'll burn through the AMS ammo faster. I mean, it'll be dead by the time it's the AMS ammo would be empty, but at least uh, we can eat through some of it.
That is the benefit, though, of having uh, more than 10 turns of firing and ammo. Oof. Really? Is that you can just... That it? I'm and and trapped. missions like this that are only like 10 turns, you can just fire it continuously and not even care. Mm, so that's 39 with the missiles there. Yeah, so much better when you're not in the trees, you know? Let's just go here. Heading out. I don't have to worry too much about people firing at me here at this first stage. I think we should keep on this guy. I could use the thumper, but I want to see what our opponents are coming in the next section. So that's not too bad. This is a lot better. We're going to take this shot. Confirmed. Get a laser hit, took his arm off. It's fine. That. Hit all 30 of them. Waiting for orders. But I think he's got three AMS, so that's probably why. I think that's probably why. That's the normal loadout, I think, is three AMS on that thing. Alright. Let's move up. Apply damage liberally. Here it comes. That guy's not going to last much longer. Where's the hunter? Back here. So we got some machine guns and the flamer that might actually pen. Those LRMs aren't going to hit that thing though. He's got a he's got a massive shield up with a <laughs> with those AMSs. Fuck. Zoria's not going to survive this match. You've got nothing. You hear me? Don't. Ready for orders. Tempt. Fate. Right to here. Acknowledged. Let's show these guys what we're made of. Shit. Alright, we'll shoot <laughs> we'll shoot this guy. Hopefully it ends up being death by machine gun, but we'll find out. Oh, we got his arm. Target's taken All his AMSs hit. are gone. And they're in range of the hatchetman too, which is nice because I can disassemble some of these guys. Hopefully I can pull a, I mean, I guess I can kill the locust. I don't want to lose too much gear. Okay, who's up? What? No. Toot toot, motherfucker. Um. 46. 50, 52. Let's go here. I'll try. The adder's going down. I'm not worried about the adder, but I want to start on one of these guys with all these lasers. There's no point in burning them on somebody else. Damn it. There we go. Alright, here it comes. Bet that hurt. I bet it did. Kill him. So that guy goes on 15. You're on 12. Not sure why he decided to run early on, but whatever. Feel free to run away, my friend. Okay, we're on round 3, so at the end of this round is when the next set of... How are we on round 3 already? There's something fucky going on with the turns. I've only moved him fire once, and we're on round 3. All right. Receiving you. Whatever. I'm gonna put you right here. <laughs> Position. Because what I'm hoping happens, I really hope it does happen. We got these three guys lined up, so I'm gonna fire at the guy in the front, and hopefully anything we miss just penetrates and goes through and hits the guys behind him. We'll find out though. Oh yeah. Spread it around. <laughs> Spread it around, my friend. Reporting. Hit. Finally, it's not me on the Order. receiving end of that. Same thing. Confirmed. Usually it's me on the receiving end of this thing. Same thing. LRM's bad chance to hit, but it'll go through and hit somebody else. Maybe. Maybe not. 
Ah, a few guys got hit. We got a mash truck to help us out. Ah, isn't that great? At least you got uh, some evasion going. What are we at? 12. So it's the guy up in the hill, Piranha. Who do we have left? We've got the Hatchetman going on 11. The Zoria on 12, which we can get off the hill, hopefully. We've inflicted a lot of damage on those three mechs down there, so I'm hoping we can... Uh, I hear ya. ...continue along with that. Now, we're damaging the turret, mostly. I don't like shooting between my guys here, but... Don't think we have much of a choice. I want to try and get you back to our main base here. Yeah, we're going to shoot through here. We're going to go out to the Locust, I think. Because he's almost dead. He's wide open now, though. Yeah. Oh, man. A couple points left in there. But we're going to get... Oh, man. I, I completely forgot about the Kit Fox, too. Like... Oh, he's got no weapons. <laughs> he's got two A-pods and that's it. That's the problem with having all your weapons in the arms. That's one of the reasons why I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, like, having weapons in the torsos, too. Because, like, yes, arms, you have a great chance to hit. But they're also weak and they can come off real easy. So, as soon as they do, you're, you're, your game's over. Alright, going after the hunter, it's fine. Barely hit, Commander. You are going to be the uh, target of vengeance. I'm receiving you. Our scout can wait. Uh, let's leave the SR SRMs off. I don't think we need to put them on. Yeah. Take that. And here, what was I saying about him not being able to get into combat? You know what's going to happen is they're going to drop like a, a strong unit right here. And I'm so far out of position. I mean, I guess I should have started here so I'd be in the middle. But I thought we could at least maneuver over that way. Yeah, you run. Commander? Hmm. I can't use the PPC. Cause it's just because I'm overheating, right? Seventy-eight percent to punt. Put to punch. Let's just do that. I could have kicked and tried to take the leg off, but I want to get the kill here if we can. Oh, nice! Save the XL. We're still caught completely out of position here, but whatever. We'll just deal when they show up. I don't know how we're going to split up here. I don't think the Spectre and the, and the uh, Hatchetman have the juice to take on five mechs. And the Zoria ooh, and the Hunter are going to be targeted a fair bit, so I'm going to have to keep them back. You, I mean, you wouldn't think an additional three mechs is much, but it, it's actually a lot when you're facing the clans. Like, having 15 opponents as opposed to 12. Oh, he bailed. At least you got your last few shots in. There we go, we got our turrets up. Hopefully the turrets can do some good work here. So we got AC2 turret. SRM turret. You can see. And what else? I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy Wow, our turrets are already damaged. Okay, so they dropped there. What's this guy? Light sniper turret. Where's our other turret? Right here. LRM turret. Okay. Alright, um, so we've got three guys left on this side. One guy with no weapons, one guy pretty badly damaged, and one guy barely even touched. And I'm sure there's another unit around here somewhere. Hey.
Okay, we should get sensors okay. now. So we've got a Miss Lynx, Arctic Cheetah, Zoria Mortar, which is bad news, Zoria LRM. Well, at least if we lose the Zoria in this one, we can pick up some Zoria parts. Two Elemental Toadies, which take forever to kill Miss Lynx. Miss Lynx, at her prime. All right, not bad, not bad at all. So let's see if we can pull this guy down. We'll turn off some stuff here because we're like stupidly hot. Turn those off. Just take a pot shot at this guy. Here we go. Wow, not even one, huh? Uh. Yeah, you think? Standing by. We gotta get rid of these guys out of my midst here. Yeah, might as well put the machine gun at the same time if we're gonna do that. I'm there. Targeting for physical attack. Ah, for fuck's sakes. Couple points. Sure. Thanks for showing up today. Alright, we gotta get the hatchetman down this side. Toadies are gonna take forever to get here. But these guys could be a problem. What do you got as weapons? Some kind of laser. But apparently not doing anything with it. I'm your spaniel. Yeah, we, since we're going that way, let's, uh... Oh, we can only do a charge attack? Oh, you know what? We can do that. And then we should be able to... Oh, come on. Why won't you give me the melee? Oh, for fuck's sakes. This is... There we go. So annoying. Alright. Um, we don't need the SRMs on. We're just going to physically attack him. Rolling. I mean, I guess I could have put him on, but... Locked on for physical attack. Oh, fuck. Couldn't even hit an unarmed opponent. Yes, Commander. Sure. Um, let's get to here. Roger that. Let's shoot at the Zoria mortar to stop it from shooting at the city or the uh, the base. Got it. Don't think it'll matter. Well, I mean, he might take a bit of damage from the flames. Failed to connect. Sorry, right, buddy. That's all right. Standing by. Can you kill? Not really. Not really. Roger. All this for freaking Oscout, scout, but I don't want this guy here. Target's taken a critical hit. Okay, he's bleeding out. I could probably ignore him for now. He'll probably end up bailing out. So I could probably ignore him now. That prana I don't think can do too much down here. What is he rocking? Was it pulse lasers? What did he have? MG duels. Two ER mediums and ER small. Machine gun duel. Are these for like shooting like elementals and stuff? Okay, he's moving in. Who are you shooting at? That's a lot of MG rounds. Waiting on you, Commander. He shot at the truck. Okay. Make sure we get into the trees. Uh -huh. Can we remove him, please? All weapons are go. There's more. Where Apparently not. not. From. Who said all scouts aren't resilient? 
Uh, besides me. Yeah, fuck. <sighs> Clan ER pulse lasers. Was who's that? Battle Cobra A. Okay, it's interesting. Try and get on you with the uh, with the hatchetman. Okay, he bailed. Hopefully this adder bails too, but we'll see. Piranha, we should be able to kill relatively quickly, I think. Ooh, man, that's not good. I'm taking some serious hits. Is that the adder prime? I think that is. He's got a pair of ER peeps. This guy's got no weapons. At least he's a target for a turn or two. Guy's got a pair of machine guns. Well, thanks for the help, guys. Okay. Nice try. Should have ran when you had the chance. Uh huh. They gotta kill four more buildings anyway. Don't know if they got the juice for that, but we'll see. Once we once we start mixing it up with them on that side, they'll start targeting us rather than the buildings. As long as they're not shooting the buildings or shooting us, target those APCs all you want. So was that was that the uh, the PPCs? Did that come off the mislinks? I don't know if it did or not. I think so because he's roasting right now. So that must have been that guy. I don't know how I'm gonna get him if he just decides to stay back there and shoot. We're gonna have to like make sure we've got our flank here hidden. I don't know where we got hit though. Leg shot. Okay. Probably the best place to get hit is the leg. I mean, once we get leg, we're not moving anywhere, but at least... You know, we're not losing any valuable components. Well, that guy's dead. Oh, not yet. We could have used some better turrets, I think. Why are you shooting him? Yeah. That Prana's, uh... Gonna be in trouble here in a second, though. Okay. Ready for orders. Prada's going on eleven, eh? All right. No Keep our flag hidden. Got it. Arctic Cheetah. Where's the... That's the Battle Cobra there. Well, we can see the Cheetah the best, so let's take a shot at him. I'm gonna save the Thumper for a bit better chance to hit. Locking on target. Ooh, yeah, man. Didn't mean to hit that guy, but... Hot damn, let's do this. Maybe that guy will start to bail out? Maybe he'll bail out? Was that a torso hit? It was. He's got two A-Pods, and he's not using them, which is interesting. Just links. Pair of LRM5s or an LRM10, one of the two. I gotta choose a side for the Zoria. Who do I want him to fight? He can't be exposed to both at the same time. So either I move him up here and fire down the street here, or we back him up and fire up this way. But I think maybe we back up, we fight the street because that guy's got PPCs. One hit and we're pretty much toast. Considering he'll be shooting from the front and hit, probably hit the side and kill us. Our turret's almost done anyway. 
All right, you're moving in. That's the hunter. Damage minimal. Okay. Um. What now? Hmm, Prana goes after me. It's alright. At least we're facing the enemy here. So we'll do this. This guy's gotta go away. He's gotta go away now. Beat my head. Not bad. He didn't expect that. That was torso hits mostly, I think. Yep. And then we can bring you around. And, I don't know, maybe we melee that side? That should put enough rocks between us and that adder back there. I don't think he's going to fire this turn anyway, because he's so hot, but... Yes, Commander. No, it's kick, because then we can use all our weapons. Order Let's go for it. Nice. Alright, good hits. Yes. Suck it, buddy. Scored a critical hit. Nice and toasty now, too. Elementals. What can I do for you? Let's keep you on this side. Right, Commander. Go for a finishing shot on him. Commencing alpha strike. Nice. And stay down. Okay, that flank is partially clear. Got nobody in close now. Which means we can focus on these guys. I think we're gonna shield these guys out using the rocks. Focus on these guys because I think the salvage is better on this side. I mean the adder's nice, but I can't get to him past the battle armor. So, um, I want to try and get this Battle Cobra. I have no idea what he's got on. 580 armor is not that bad. So we're going to focus on this side. Uh, once I get the camera back to the way it was. Air burst. Light damage, Commander. That Zoria Mortar has got to go. This links. Yeah, you run. You run. Oh, he's coming towards us. I thought he was going away from us. I live to serve. Oh, wait. Uh, better turn that off. Okay. Got it, Commander. I'm okay with that. I'm here to fuck you up. Okay, we're gonna keep our heat low by doing it this way. Just so we can get full move next turn. Engaging target. Alright, a little bit on him. Oh, we hit someone back there too. Nice. I think it was the vehicle because it was nine points. What's up, boss? What's up, yo? Mm, no, let's not get right next to me. Because I got a feeling they're going to be targeting you, and I don't want them to be hitting me. So, 12 with the LRM. Or 29 with the LRM. We can hit with a lot of machine gun fire here. For almost the same damage as the LRM would be doing. Let's just shoot here. Firing a full salvo. Soften them up a little bit here. Yeah, we need better vehicles. More armor, nice hard hitting weapon. What are you doing? Not shooting. Yeah, he's too hot. Okay, that was our gun. Nice.
We have the LRM turret. Why is it? Oh, he goes on five. Who's going on eight? One of the Zorias? Probably this guy. Nope, Battle Cobra. He's pretty damn slow. I wonder if he backed up because he was hot. Ooh, another hit. Nice. Keep hitting him, guys. Keep hitting him. Round five, eh? So we got five turns left. Five turns left after this one. So we got LRM turret on turn five. Um, you're the AC2. PPC. Right, the PPC hasn't got yet either. Yeah, you just keep driving away. Yes! LRM turret for the win, baby! That Kit Fox. I'm surprised he's still hanging in there. I'm here. You are. Alright. Getting behind the rocks over here. Keeping their adder from being able to see us. That's the most important thing. We'll shoot this guy with a couple of things. Actually, let's turn the lasers off. Put the flamer and the machine guns on. Mm, leave the flamer off. Let's put the machine guns on, see if we can kill him by machine gun. Okay. Nope. Okay. Those guys aren't even going to get into battle. I'm ready. Uh, are you? I don't think this guy's ready, though. Yeah, we have no other place we can go, I think, without exposing to the enemy, so. What's up, Dodd? What's up, bud? Welcome to the fight. Pilot lethal I'm damage. Traveling. Took his head clean off. <laughs> See ya. Do the math, chief. One less target. I could probably leave you over there by yourself now. Reading you. I'm not going to do it, but I probably could. Uh, let's make sure you that adder can't see you. And turn just in case he, he maneuvers to see you. And we'll shoot this uh, this other guy here. I want him gone so our turrets aren't shooting at him. Death by machine gun and flamer? Nope. Apparently not. It did. I hear you. It's because you suck. Um, we're starting to bunch up now, but Back speed, no shooting. this is the only cover I've got currently away, away from that adder. 25, 10. Wait, cluster should be better. 37. Let's just kill this guy. Firing everything I've got. Just so our turrets aren't shooting at him. Gotcha. Now they can focus on somebody else. I don't like it when they're shooting at mechs in the midst of us, you know? Hell, I don't even like shooting at mechs in the, in the midst of us. It's maneuvering. Oh, he shot. Did he shoot both toadies, or just the one? He killed two of his own guys, just about. He hit them with both. <laughs> He's like, get the fuck into battle, what are you still doing standing back here? <laughs> That's pretty much what he's doing. He's just pissed. Why are you still standing around here? Get into battle. Uh, we'll hold off on the thumper. Well, let's fire the rest of this guy. Discount Adder. Sorry, Discount Kit Fox, I guess. Doesn't have enough AMS. Like, you, where you'd want that, like, really, really heavy AMS is on the Adder like this. Dual, dual PPCs that you can just stand back and shoot, but then you have the triple AMS on it because you know the enemy's going to be lobbing LRMs and stuff at you, and then you just shoot them all down while you're shooting at range. 
I mean, ideally, that's what you'd like to be doing with it. Because a triple AMS, I mean, as long as it's on overload and it's like shooting at everything that's coming, then that's one thing. But then if you if you're just protecting yourself with it, then it's kind of useless if you're uh, if you have to close with the enemy, because then they just use lasers on you and kill you. That's it, buddy. Get into battle. Battle Cobra. That's a lot of pulse lasers. Okay. Receiving you. All of my machine guns are jammed, but that's fine. I really just want to give these guys another target to shoot at. We got lots of armor still, so I don't feel I feel pretty confident here. Okay, a little bit of hit. A little bit of heat. Standing in fire. It's all good. So I think we're probably good at this end now. Um, well, yeah, because one Zoria is gone, the mortar's gone. I think I might, depending on what's in the in the uh, loot table, we can get a, a Zoria mortar part. That would be nice. I think that would definitely be worth it having the mortar. I mean, I don't know what ammo it carries. It'd be nice if it had a if it had acid ammo. That would definitely be a huge support, and then I don't have to, like, expose myself to shoot at the enemy. Because really, the, the like, the um, um, advantageousness of the current Zoria we have is the direct fire capability with the LBX. But lacking that, you'll definitely want to be, uh, like, have a mortar or something. Oh, fuck off. That's why I don't want... A tickled. Yeah. Didn't tickle. 25 points is a lot in the back. It's probably a torso hit too. No, it was a CT because of course it was a CT hit. Here I was laughing at these guys being shot at. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, he's like telling me to get the hell out of his way. He's shooting at somebody. I'm trying to kill that guy. Get out of the way. I think we were going to bypass the miss links. If we can get to this guy this turn, we're going to do that. Okay, round seven. We got four turns left. We might hey. be able to get all these guys. It's going to be a really hard thing to do. I think you're going to reserve. I want to see what these guys on the flanking or flank side are doing here. I don't care about the elementals. The elementals, I don't... If we don't kill them, I don't care. But as long as we get the rest of them... I'll be happy. I mean, if we clear this side up, I'll be happy, but... If this adder moves in, if we can get that adder, that'd be nice. Yep, okay. That side. Ready for orders. Moving to position. I'm going to save the thumper for those guys back there, I think, on the on the uh, right-hand side. Aye, aye. Scored a critical hit. Well, if that doesn't make him want to run away, I don't know what will. Cool. Guys in strike distance now. Nice. Orders. Vengeance is mine. Can only charge, huh? Hot seat's at zero. I think we can actually, uh... After the thing figures out stuffs... There we go. Should be able to... Oh, we can't? Oh, we can there. Not the best positioning, but we are kind of behind the rocks, so I think we're probably okay. Maybe? 121 damage. 71% chance. Acknowledge. You can slice him. You can dice him. Yeah, just keep on coming. Negative damage. Alright, a little bit of heat. 
I think this guy runs hot anyway, so that's probably good. 25 heat's pretty good. Yeah, he's nice and toasty now. Good. Waiting on you, Commander. Good. Nice and toasty. Mm. I want to target this guy. I don't know how to do it without getting shot at by anybody else, though. Oh, I know. Um, Going turbo. I know how to do it. We can do it this way. That's a pretty good chance to hit. We'll take it. Got all my missiles. All right, good to know. Huh? Marching into, they're I marching hit. into battle. Okay. Location confirmed. Same thing. Same target. I can't melee this guy because that adder will probably get a shot at me. We're kind of in a weird position here. Mm, let's leave that off. Okay, a little bit of damage. Not bad. Reporting critical hit. And we still got the um, our adder here. Good in to a go. Second. Like that. What do we got left here for uh, MGs? We got two MGs up. All right, fine. Fire it all. Okay. I think I hit something good. Engine hit. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. I'm here. Okay. Get into there. Don't mind the heat. Let's hammer him. See ya. Mech destroyed. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. We have a chance to get that adder now. So we got three turns. We can take this guy maybe next turn, and then be on this guy. It's it's tricky though because he's got those damn PPCs, and we've only got three guys here to help. I mean, I could send the hunter over there too, but we got to make sure we stay away from the elementals. They've got good protection, so it's like. I just gotta be very careful. I don't want to get into a range battle with that adder either. We gotta get in and get a back strike on him and try and bring him down real fast. Because those PPCs are gonna just destroy us. Like the Zoria won't survive. If it gets hit once or twice, it's over. Alright, what are you doing, Miss Lynx? Moving forward? We're getting outflanked. Yeah. That's okay. Back you up next turn. I think you you're pretty much done on this side now. I think. Yeah, he's got no one to shoot at. Those PPCs do you no good if you can't target your opponent. I think I'm asking for too much going after him though. Uh huh. You want to play that game? We can play the game. You can't take much more of this. I played the game real well, so we can do that if you want. I'd be. It would be interesting to see what percentage of my kills are back kills. I was. I would probably say like 16, maybe 20 percent, something like that. One in five, I think, is probably a back kill. Most of them are side kills, I think. You burrow through one side and kill the mech that way. The benefit of doing the side kill as opposed to the back kill, um, that's nice, is the back kill you don't know how much you're going to destroy. Like you can blow off both torsos, whereas the side kill you can burrow through to the CT and at least save one side. Right? So if you know you want the Ultra 20 on, on the one side, you attack him from the other and kill him that way. Bring him down real fast. But if you shoot the back, right, you don't know if you're going to blow off the side with the Ultra 20 on it, right? Hey. All right, now, um... Uh, do I want to push this? 
That's the that's the question. Do I really am I really interested in? I don't think I am. I don't think I'll, I don't Moving think we're gonna do position. it. We're gonna kill the guys on this side for sure, and then if we get anybody else, bonus. But if we don't, we don't. And I think I'm happy with that. Because the adder's useless right now. That looked like. And he's bailing out. Receiving you. You are super hot. Um, let's, uh... That's elemental shot. Sure. Confirmed. That adder might be able to come around and take a shot at you, but I think we're alright. I think we're okay here. We might as well use the one shot now. And let's drop... Um, let's just stay on just under. Because I want to maximize my damage on this guy. Got you. Black on AC-10 ammo. That's alright. You did some damage. That's all that matters. All we wanted. All we wanted was a little bit of damage. He's moving up. Still incapable of getting to a position where he can shoot me. Which is nice. These these like crags are perfect for us. Alright, this guy's playing. Let's play. Let's play the fucking game. Put our back to the wall. Physical weapon. Move order received. 101 damage. Here comes all the missiles. How's that for a fuck you? Hope we don't, uh... Not so... Well, the hot seat. We gotta worry about that. I forgot to turn it off, didn't I? Probably. Probably. I have no idea what this guy's got, but that was a CT hit. He's almost dead. Well, at least if we blur out, blow out the center core, we should get all his weapons, I think. Standing by. There's a duel going on over there. Don't interfere. Let's see how you like this. Solid connection on that Come one. Bell. Ah, damn it. Good to go. You stay there. You don't need to move. Just rain this down on him. Affirmative. Couple hits. We still have our LRM turret too, right? So he might go after that guy. I really hope he doesn't shoot for this guy because I want to kill this guy. I wish I knew what this guy's loadout was. Oh, now I got a bit of here. Medium pulse clan, small pulse. Okay, so it's probably all medium and small pulses. Are you coming? Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, he's probably got four medium and six small pulse lasers. Where did you go? Over here. Yeah, they're not uh, not gonna push. That guy on the other hand, burned himself out. Bonus. Reading you. Um. That's the adder. Nope. 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 Stay right here. There's no reason. Yeah, you guys better miss him. Come on, bail out. I mean, I don't want him to, but... It'd be nice if he was just gone. We got one round, two rounds left. What now? 
Ooh. Smoke him if you got him. I'm receiving you. We're lucky there. Yep. Yeah. Fuck you. Here it comes. I don't know where I hit. Probably torso. Yeah, he's taking engine hits and stuff too, so he's going to shut down in a second. That was a leg hit. Or was it? Yeah, it was a leg hit. We wouldn't have done... Uh, those are from the LRMs, I think. We wouldn't have done that much damage to the uh, to the torso. We would have gone right through. Elemental toadies. Okay, I can't let you die by the uh, turrets. Unfortunately. Commander. On it. Death by hunter is probably worse than uh, death by uh, turrets, so. Yeah. Affirmative. Come on, bail out. Inflicted some heavy damage. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I couldn't let the turrets have that one. You coming back now, are you? He was just on a scenic drive for a bit. Standing by. He's like, aren't you guys finished the battle yet? Why aren't you guys finished the battle? I thought you would have been done by now. Got it. Alright, let's um go after the guy we want. At 5.1%. Attacking from position. But we might as well see if we can bring him out into the open to shoot at us. Because then maybe we can finish him off next turn. Commander? Maybe. I doubt it, but... Got it. I'm not going to expose myself to double PPCs. There's just no way. Not clan double PPCs, anyway. If they were inner sphere ones, 50 damage a pop, I wouldn't feel so bad. But uh, not at 75 each. Is he exposing? Yes, Commander. He's not really exposing, is he? Who he is there? You know what? The elementals are just too dangerously close there. That's not bad, though. I probably shouldn't do this, but it's just too tempting. Just too tempting. That's ah, a shit chance to hit, though. Fire. It's a shit chance to hit. Oh, well. Nice. Nice, Gary. Ooh, man. PPC turret. Welcome to the freaking jungle. Why are you shooting at him, man? Shoot the other. Probably trying to clear the way. It's tough to... Okay, that's not bad. Don't think the adder's going to be able to get a shot at me here. So we're going to move in and take a shot at this guy. This is the last round, so... We'll see what we can get out of this. I know it's going to... We're going to be hot, but I don't, it's fine. Wow. Wow, nothing. That's a myth. Went right past his nose, though. Hey. 
I want to try for that adder. You know what? Let's um let's reserve you. Because maybe the adder does kind of reveal himself slightly. I don't know. We'll find out in a second, I guess. If he does decide to reveal, like this APC is kind of in the open. About me. I'm not forgetting about you. You're playing a vital role. Come on, give me some slack here. We're waiting for the adder to come out. See if he sticks his nose out. I want to blow it clean off. I mean, we're not in the best position to do that, but yeah, this guy moved away now, though. We'll see what happens. We got a few mechs that can fire at him. We might get lucky. If not, we can try and get this mislinks. If he's like in a position where we can shoot at him. Yeah, maybe. Let's let that adder go. By. Let that adder go. See what he does now. Two ERPPCs, and I think it's a small... Okay, he's on the hill. A little bit too late, buddy. Too little, too late. Has this guy moved? Yeah, he went on 20. Ready for orders. All right, well, we're not going to do enough damage. Yeah, he's too far. I should have saved the one shot. I mean, it wouldn't have done much, but still. Engaging with target. Ooh, okay, that hit. Waiting for orders. Can you get a shot? He's just too far away. He's just too far away. What now? All right, you. Ooh, we might get lucky. I got to go this way because we hit the other side with the large, right? So this is really the only chance of like doing major damage to him. Copy that. Firing Alpha Strike. Okay. Couple more left. Waiting for orders. Make sure we're in the open. Take that extra plus one to chance to hit if we can get it. Here it comes. On it. Yeah. Waiting for orders. We just don't have the juice. Just don't have the juice. That's fine. Ah, uh, whatever. At least we're letting him know that we've beaten him. We have beaten you. You are a loser. We still got three. Uh, we got all four of our turrets. I think might be able to hit him. I know the AC2 turrets should be able to. The PPC is probably close enough. The LRMs are definitely close enough. Okay, PPC hit. AC missed. Here comes the LRMs. Good damage, but not quite enough. Nice hit. I don't know, maybe if I had pulled the Spectre over to take a shot at him, or waited on the Spectre. I don't know. We were Mission close. Successful. Well, that wasn't so bad. 156,000. Made a little bit of cash. I mean, they just destroy one building, but, you know, it wasn't much we could do about it. I mean, the XP was, like, not very well, not very good in this one either, but still, it's more than we've been getting. All right, let's have a look here. That could have turned out way worse. I thought for sure we were going to lose the... Uh, that's a 40 ton. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking that's going to be our flamer mech. I'm thinking with all the... Like, yeah, let's grab that guy. I'm interested to see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, I thought for sure we were going to lose vehicles and stuff. But we did okay. 
uh, we were able to kind of hide them, so that, that was a kind of a bonus. So I guess the Zoria Mortar has got the LBX-5, as well as... That's only six tons, eh? Oh, Clan LRM-15. Oh, there's some good weapons here. Yeah, it's got the Mortar, I think, and the... Uh, yeah, Mortar 6 and the LBX-5, as opposed to the LRM. 110 and 150 on all sides. And what's the LRM? It's the same. Okay. Mortar 6 clan. 3.5 ton weight. It's nice. Streak 6s. Clan. So they weigh exactly the same. That's a possibility. Uh, let's just see what else is down here. Lots of XL engines. I could take three XLs and we could just use the money to put an XL engine into um, the, the uh, Hatchetman. We've been dying to do that. Artemis system, which isn't bad. Clan Guardian ECMs, which would be very, very valuable if we got those. But I don't think there's selectable based on what else is here. LBX-5 cluster. I mean, so we, we could take the LBX-5 and some cluster ammo if we wanted to. Artemis ammo is here. We've got one already. Okay, mortar fast gam, mortar air burst. So I want to try and stay away from mines in this playthrough. We've done mines before. Um... The C bills here would definitely, like this is like a 1.3 million if we buy if we take all three of these. That's an Argo upgrade, plus putting an XL engine into the Hatchetman. And since we really weren't supposed to be, yeah, I mean. I know there's better stuff up here. I know there is, everybody. Like, there's so much better stuff. Like, the mortar would work really well. The LBXs would be great. The LRM-15 would be great. But I'm thinking right now, we want to up... We got this new mech we want to update, which will probably out-phase the... Um, will phase out the... Uh, uh, the Clint that hasn't even been put into battle yet. I mean, it really depends on what it looks like once we get it back. Either that or we use this as opposed to the um, the Spectre. Which is maybe a better idea. Okay, let's just go this route before I change my mind. Alright, two Arctic Cheetah parts. Locust part, man, mislinked part, Osco parts figures. Okay, two Zoria motor parts, I'm happy about that. Clan armor will hold on to. Regular armor we can sell. The 240 we can sell. The three XLs, because we have two in storage. Oh, they're 585,000. It's a lot more than I thought it was. Artemis system, nice. Two fire control system improved. Clan, Clan Pharaoh, which we've got one. We'll keep those. Heat sinks can go. Sensors will keep. LBX ammo, all right, and half ton of machine gun ammo. So it's all usable stuff, pretty much. No uh, no amazing amount of garbage. Alright. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I thought we were going to take a lot more damage on that mission. But uh, we were able to use the terrain to our advantage, which is a huge thing. Alright. Mech Bay real quick, because we want to bring forward that battle... Nice uh, to see you down here in the hole. I was just about to save that battle mech. <laughs> yeah, because that narrows it down, doesn't it? Um, here it is. Battle Cobra. Interested to see. So we got a lot of other stuff down here. Not really worried about it though. Locust C. Clan Tech Retrofit. Uh, let's bring you forward because we're probably just going to be scrapping it anyway. That mech you asked for. Thank it's you. For and anything else that's just free to bring forward? Not really. Alright, we'll check you out too. So depending on how much work this thing needs... Endo and Pharaoh. Hopefully it's a clan design. Alright, check this guy first. Doesn't look like there's much left here, but we'll take a look. 
Hopefully it's got something. Ah, uh, medium pulse laser clan. Alright, that's kind of worth it. Um, but that's about it. Everything else is gone, unfortunately. Can't always have good stuff all the time. Alright, so we'll go ahead and scrap you. 37,000, that's not bad. And then you guys. What have you got? Weird, weird ass looking mech, but that's fine. So, I was kind of right. Medium and small pulses. Not much left. Now, are you actually a Omnimech? You are. So, let's pull these off. Leave that on. Do we actually have another? I don't think we have another arm, lower arm. We haven't been getting much. We do have a lower arm. Nice. Um... One on each side. So you're carrying pretty much all of your weapons in your arms. Which I don't necessarily like. Gonna max out the armor. So you got 10 tons. You got 10 tons of space. Uh, just for the sake of argument, because I'm interested to see. And we've got... I know we have two more clan flamers. So we could go like three... One, two, this will be one ton, right? Right, so this will equal two clan flamers. So that's seven clan flamers. And we still have a lot of weight left, but we need a proper uh, cooling system in here, though. So we could go with... Um, yeah, I'm just going to draw... Oh, we got a regular double. Let's say a uh, quick cell heatsink kit, though. Uh, I'll put one of you in for now. So it's a 240 core, so we need to add one more, but that's pretty much... Yeah, it's going to be 63 heat with all of the flamers. All the clan flamers, right? Times 7. Yeah, 63 heat. And we'll be at, with one heat sink, we'll be at 60, which is actually pretty good. Plus extra weight, so I mean, we could put... The other thing, too, is we could put the chameleon system in here. Um, right? To match the, because uh, that gives us an ECM already. That'll match. Oh, this is not a. Um, this is not an XL. Guess it doesn't matter. Guess I, I, oh well. But then we could add. We don't actually have the ability to add any melee weapons, unfortunately. I can't add a defensive gyro. It's the problem with like clan stuff is like I, I'm like limited to what I can put in. Active probe will definitely go in. Right? What else would we put though? I mean all this stuff is already there. So we could go with So add one more ton to this will be two and a half tons left over, because we could put we could leave this flamer and put two more clan flamers in. So we could go with, and the rest would be heat sinks, or heat sinking. Eight flamers. <laughs> we could call it the fire cobra, um, or flame cobra. That would probably be better. Ooh, it's a possibility. It's totally a possibility. All right, I'm going to take this stuff out for now. And then we'll get it repaired. Clan double, well, I'll leave the clan double heatsink kit out because I don't know if that's going to end up going in. Uh, but definitely the lower arm is going to have to go in. 30 tons remaining. I mean, it's definitely an upgrade from the Spectre. Let's uh, validate that. 20 days to get this thing back. So that's that's kind of worth it. That's kind of worth it. I think that replaces Long the Spectre once it's back. Too hard. Yeah, man. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's bring it up, though. So six days. Uh, that takes us past the financial report. Do we want to do that? Wait a minute. Do we not take any damage in our mechs at all? Oh, no. The Hatchetman and the Spectre. Durr. 
I'm like thinking, we didn't take any damage. Derp. Derpity derp derp. Alright, let's, <laughs> let's do this. So we'll be, have those back before the end of the month and have the opportunity to do something else here. Um, take off your shoes. Make yourself. Is help. there anything? Yeah, there's this guy here. Against two. Just regular clans? Clan wolf. Uh, well, we're kind of going up and down in. in uh, Oh, wait a minute. There's a two and a half. Diamond Shark Company are preparing to leave. So this would be a not a bad mission for the regular... Um, so maybe we include this as a duelist show and we take this one here next episode for the Royals and let them go to town on these guys at two and a half skulls just to see what we can do. I mean, if they get two lances, that's going to be really iffy. But if they don't get two lances, if it's just the one lance, then we should have no problem. But I think that's worth trying out. So that's what we'll do the next episode. But I'm going to end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.